the next part of the AWS Builders Fair is something very close to my heart. It is whiskey and cocktails. I'm here with Div. You're a solutions architect, right, with AWS? Yes, sir. I am a solutions architect. I work for the AWS Partner Network. And this is the Builders Fair. We're trying to show you the art of the possible. This is just yet another thing that's possible with the AWS Cloud. Apart from the already million things it does. <laughs> you can make cocktails with AWS. How cool is that, right? So what we've done here is we have an NVIDIA Jetson device and we have an ESP32 that we had, uh, that we 3D printed a custom case and to house them. We're running IoT Greengrass framework on it and then we're just using the IoT core service that AWS has to bring those messages into the cloud. And I'm just putting everything in a DynamoDB table, um, streaming it basically, and then as soon as this table updates, a Lambda picks it up and now we can do whatever with it and we have the data in the cloud. So, Basically, uh, so, uh, think about when you make an old fashioned. You put some whiskey, you put some bourbon in it, put some simple syrup, you some bitter. Put some more bourbon in it. Right? <laughs> and then you put some ice in it, and then you mix it up, you stir it up. What do you get? You get a lousy drink, because you don't know anything. You don't know, you don't know how much the ice is supposed to melt for that perfect flavor profile of the bourbon. You don't know how the bourbon is going to react to the bitters. You don't know how much the temperature should be to really bring up the flavors of the bitter. If you automate some of that stuff, you can make the co perfect cocktail every single time. So that's what happens here. We measure a lot of the things. For example, we measure the temperature of the ingredients, we measure the, uh, the weight of the ingredients, we, we measure the temperature of the ice, the weight of the ice, we, the, how much the ice is supposed to melt to give you like a weak or a strong drink. And then we take all of this and we work with a, 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 a chemist, a person in our team really has a, a PhD in chemistry. So we work with them to create a formula to give us the perfect target temperature that the drink needs to be on. And once we do that, a, a, a lambda, the stirred drink lambda, then sends it over to IoT Core, and IoT Core talks to Greengrass, and it basically lets the, here, let, give me a second, let me just stir it. So your ESP32 is basically being used to drive your actuators and your, all your GPIO, getting like commands back from IoT Core, controlling the drink making process. 100%, yes. So basically in that, in that uh, housing, we have a CPU fan, and in one of the fans, uh, in one of the blades of the fan, we have a magnet, and the stirrer is also magnetic, so as the fan moves, the stir it also stirs the drink. So it knows to uh, uh, keep tracking the temperature of the drink, and once it gets to that target temp that we uh, extrapolate from that uh, um, formula, I guess, uh, once it knows that it reaches that temperature, it stops. So that's how you get the perfect drink every single time. I mean, it all sounds great in practice, but there's only one way to test this, isn't there? Are we, are we gonna sample a drink? Thank you so much. Cheers. This is the moment of truth. That is a mighty fine old fashioned. The best thing about it is it's always going to be mighty fine because it's consistent. So we're going to stay here with Div, try another four or five to test that consistency, and we'll get back to you.